We'd like to welcome our dearest viewers via Nursat and Televimir. And we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis, two-state solution is necessary for Palestinians and Israelis. His Majesty the King, we reject any attempt to separate the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Council of Church leaders in Jordan announces the cancellation of Christmas celebrations. Cardinal Pizzabella issues an urgent appeal for donations for the victims of Gaza and the Holy Land. Palestinian Christians call on the international community to lift the oppression from the Palestinian people. Welcome all. His Holiness Pope Francis said that a two-state solution is necessary for both Palestinians and Israelis to end the ongoing war in Gaza and the Holy Land. He urged the warning peoples for a wise solution, living together in a clear state with special consideration for Jerusalem. He added, the war in the Holy Land frightens me, and escalation means the end of many things and many lives. His Holiness continued to express concern, stating that he continues to contemplate the dangerous situation in Palestine and Israel. He appealed to all conflicting parties to immediately cease fire, assist the wounded, deliver to the residents of Gaza, and release the hostages. King Abdullah II stated that it is the duty of Arab countries to exert pressure on the international community and influential global powers to stop the war in Gaza. He emphasized the need for continuous delivery of aid to the sector and the protection of civilians. The king reiterated the warning that the continuation of the war would lead to an escalation of the situation in the region. He condemned Jordan's strong condemnation of Israeli's escalation in the West Bank and stressed the necessity of continuing support for the Palestinian National Authority. King Abdullah II called for ongoing support for international organizations operating in the sector, especially UNRWA. He emphasized that military or security solutions will not succeed in ending the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, emphasizing that the only path is a political solution based on a two-state resolution. King Abdullah II expressed Jordan's complete rejection of any attempt to separate the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The Council of Church Leaders in Jordan issued a statement announcing the cancellation of all events and activities for this year's Christmas celebrations, out of respect for the innocent victims and the pure blood of our martyrs in Gaza and all of Palestine. The statement specified that Christmas festivities will be limited to prayers and church rituals. The Council explained that this announcement comes at a difficult time for Gaza and all of Palestine, marked by bloodshed, infrastructure, destruction, bombing of hospitals, churches, mosques, and forced displacements of the population. The Council condemned the barbaric acts against humanity committed by the Israeli aggression. The Council expressed solidarity with the straightforward stance represented by the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, led by His Majesty King Abdullah II, advocating for the right in the world. They praised the diligent efforts of Jordan to silence the voice of war. Furthermore, the Council declared that all churches' offerings on the upcoming Sunday will be dedicated to the benefit of Gaza and its people. They urge everyone to donate through the official channels provided by some of our churches for the same purpose. In parallel, His Eminence Cardinal Perpetis Tapizabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, issued an appeal to all believers. In the appeal, he called for assistance to those whose cries are heard, suffering in Palestine and Gaza due to the ongoing war for over a month. He stated, the current crisis in Gaza has not only caused death, destruction, and hunger, but has also led to a rise in unemployment rates, especially in Bethlehem region and all areas throughout the Holy Land. He added, we are facing a crisis that affects a vast number of families from various faiths and all of our institutions, including schools and hospitals. He emphasized their involvement in providing material resources to those beyond their walls, including neighbors. He pointed out the clear coordination between them and their local partners who extend a helping hand. We share almost everything, from food and water to medicines and supplies. Cardinal Pizzabella concluded his appeal by stating, In this challenging time, we have learned that for the reconstruction of the material world, we must build and cultivate trust among people. Therefore, we seek your assistance in planting the seed of trust, hope, and love in this society that has been marred by hatred. The Pastoral Council of the Royal Roman Catholic Cathedral organized a solidarity stand and a divine liturgy for the martyrs in Gaza, calling for an end to the war and the realization of peace in the Holy Land. The liturgy was presided over by His Lordship Bishop Joseph Jbara, with the participation of Archbishop Dr. Bassam Shahatit, several priests, deacons, and a large gathering of believers. At the beginning of the liturgy, the attendees prayed to God for the protection of His Majesty King Abdullah II, his Crown Prince, Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II, and the beloved country of Jordan. They sought God's mercy for the martyrs, healing for the wounded, and the spread of peace in Palestine and Gaza. 
during the liturgy attended by Papal Nuncio in Jordan, Archbishop Giovanni Tuzo, a passage from the Gospel was read. Candles were lit, and the Cathedral Choir presented a hymn, O Lord of Peace, grant our country peace. In conclusion, the Papal Nuncio delivered a speech encouraging everyone to pray and work for peace, emphasizing that God is greater than all evils and wars present in the world. The official spokesperson for the government, Dr. Mohamed Al-Baydin, stated that the airdrop of medical and pharmaceutical aid to the Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza required complex and challenging arrangements, especially given the hospital's location in an active conflict zone. He emphasized that Jordan's priority is to elevate the suffering of people in Gaza and support the field hospital. A responsible military source in the General Command of the Jordanian Armed Forces stated that under royal directives, a Royal Jordanian Air Force plane conducted an airdrop of urgent medical aid during the night, using parachutes for the Jordanian field hospital in Gaza. The hospital's supplies were running low. The aid includes tons of urgent medical and pharmaceutical supplies. He further noted that the field hospital in Gaza operates as part of Jordan's policy and stance towards the people of the region. On the other hand, a historical document issued by Palestinian Christians called on the international community to take a just stance towards the injustice, displacement and suffering faced by Palestinian people due to the Israeli occupation of the Holy Land. The document urged churches and Christians worldwide to work together for a just peace in the region, asking them to consider any theology that justifies crimes committed by the occupation against the Palestinian people, including killing, expulsion and land seizure. The document, signed by several religious figures, declared that the military occupation of Palestine is a sin against God and humanity. It stated that any theology justifying this occupation is a distorted theology, far from true Christian teachings. True Christian theology, according to the document, is a theology of love, solidarity with the oppressed, a call for justice and equality among people. The Scout and Guide Group of the Latin Patriarchate in the parish of St. Paul the Apostle in Jubeha celebrated its Silver Jubilee. The occasion was marked by a divine liturgy presided over by His Lordship Bishop Jamal Khadr, the Patriarchal Vicar for Latin Patriarchate in Jordan. Father Samir Imdanat, the parish priest, also assisted in the ceremony. Attended by several priests, nuns, Deputy Omar al-Nabir, and a large congregation of parishioners. During the sermon, Bishop Khadr congratulated the Scout Group and its leaders, Sister Aida Sous, on the Silver Jubilee. He urged them to continue their service, dedication and work towards earning the love of others. He emphasized the importance of aligning words with actions and reminded them of the necessity of serving the church. At the conclusion of the celebration, the Scout and Guide Group presented a commemorative shield to Bishop Jamal Khadr as a token of appreciation for presiding over the festive liturgy. They also offered mementos as a gesture of recognition for contribution of several participants in the celebration. His Beatitude Cardinal Louis Rafael Sacco presided over the Sunday liturgy, marking the beginning of the church's consecration season at the seminary in Ankawa. The liturgy was attended by the seminary students and a number of worshippers. In his sermon, his Beatitude mentioned the necessity of working diligently so that everyone feels they are the sons and daughters of the church, not strangers to it. He emphasized the connection among the church members through baptism, advising them to seek the truth in Christ and proclaim it. He encouraged them to remain faithful to the church and bear witness to the gospel in their lives. Cardinal Sacco also highlighted the responsibility of the church to be faithful and cohesive, caring for the marginalized, the poor, the sick, and the unbaptized. He concluded his sermon by stating that synodality is the journey together in prayer and listening to the Holy Spirit to renew the church, aligning its mission with reality and culture of today. The Church of Nazarene in Sofia celebrated the first Holy Communion for a group of students from the Franciscan Sister Schools. The celebratory Mass was presided over by Father Hanna Kildani with the assistance of Italian Deacon David. The ceremony was attended by several nuns, parents of the children, their siblings and members of the parish. The celebration was enhanced by the participation of the choir from the Franciscan Sister School. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis' two-state solution is necessary for Palestinians and Israelis. His Majesty the King, we reject any attempt to separate the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Council of Church Leaders in Jordan announces the cancellation of Christmas celebrations. Cardinal Pizzabella issues an urgent appeal for donations for the victims of Gaza and the Holy Land. Palestinian Christians call on the international community to lift the oppression from the Palestinian people. For more information, please visit our website, nurzatjo.org. 
wishing you a pleasant time and may you be blessed with all the happiness.